Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of JRC TV. This week we are focused on two productivity tips that can help you boost your productivity first thing in the morning. So in getting started, we have to think, how do most people start their day? They wake up to an alarm, it goes off and they're like shocked out of bed. They roll over and they've got two choices, either burst out of bed with energy and go take on the world or hit the dreaded snooze button. <laughs> and so there's the very first thing that happens. Nowadays, research shows it's only a few seconds before a person then has a device in front of their face, usually their cell phone or their smartphone, and they begin to accept the world throwing demands at them, whether that's throwing it via email, via text, via voicemail, via Facebook and social media, all of a sudden their brain is literally bombarded with information and tasks and questions and demands of everyone else's life and world without ever having a chance to warm up. It's the equivalent of if you live anywhere where it gets cold, going out to your car first thing in the morning, you know, it's free, freezing cold outside, you start up the engine and you immediately slam it in the drive and just burn out you know, of your apartment building or house or driveway and go flying out into the world. You know as well as I do, that's not how you're supposed to turn your car on. <laughs> If you live in the cold at any point, we don't, we live in Florida, but if you live in the cold, you're supposed to turn it on, warm it up, allow it to get moving, and then slowly you know, build up the speed of momentum into life and onto the freeway. Now there's a reason for that, because a lot of the gears, a lot of the little joints and facets and things that come together inside need a chance to get oiled and lubed up and moving properly to really function at high speeds and high demand. Here's what's crazy. According to one of the research groups at Harvard, they found that the brain is very similar. It doesn't function at full capacity until literally about one to two hours after waking up. So what are some things that you would want to do from the moment you wake up to start to build momentum into your mental and emotional and physical life to get yourself up to full capacity? Well, when thinking about it, obviously there's a morning routine, there's gratitude, meditation, um, there, there's mental things you might wanna do with your mind to get yourself functionally moving, whether that's making a list. We used to do a fun one where we'd come up with one letter at a time and then we'd come up with either a fruit or an animal or something that starts with that letter and then we'd go forward and backwards throughout the day to mentally warm up our brain. So there's all kinds of tasks you can do, but I wanna focus on two things specifically that'll help boost your productivity. Number one, cut out the world's demands. What I mean by this is take an oath that says no email, no text messages, no voicemails, no social media, no demands from anyone else until at least 11 a.m. or 12 p.m. noon. Why? Because what we're doing there is we're allowing you to get a jump start and focus on your life, on your productivity, on accomplishing your goals and missions and dreams and desires. So we want you to kickstart into the day and really get moving by focusing on what's most important, which brings us to point number two. Point number two is Brian Tracy wrote a book a long time ago called Eat That Frog. Those gross, disgusting things that are kind of hard to swallow. <laughs> Those kind of tasks in your life. What we want you to focus on first thing in the morning is first, mentally, emotionally, physically, fueling up and filling up. If you're not familiar with the concept, check out our book, Live It, Achieve Success by Living with Purpose. We talk about this concept deeply there and how to really, truly get the most out of it. The second piece we want you to do is as you're filling up, as you're fueling up, we want you then, once you get momentum on your side, to focus on accomplishing three tasks that you would consider a frog. Something that's slimy, that's wiggly, that's kind of gross, that you don't necessarily love. Well, for all you frog eaters out there, I'm sure you like them for some reason, but I don't. So, you know, gross, slimy, wiggly, disgusting, hard to swallow tasks. Focus on those once you have momentum going and try to accomplish three of those difficult tasks prior to allowing anyone else's demands to come into your world. And if you can get that done, I guarantee if you do it for a week, you will see a spike in your personal productivity each and every day of that week. 
So have fun with this process. Download the worksheet. It'll help you get clear on what, what your frogs are. It'll help you uh, understand a little bit more about that study. We're going to list some of the facts there from the Harvard study. And uh, enjoy yourself. Have fun. And I'll see you next week for another episode of JRC TV.